Hi guys and welcome back here to Drone Emotion, a channel where we do drone videos and where we cover the most relevant drone news. Today my friends we're back here once again with breaking news and I couldn't be more excited and that is because the DJI Mavic Air 3 is official that's right my friends you heard that right the next gen the third generation of the DJI Mavic Air 3 has been confirmed a hundred percent in fact an FCC filing was just found which confirms that this drone is going to be coming out and in today's video we have all of the info that you need to know about DJI's upcoming DJI third generation Mavic Air so you don't want to miss out on today's video my friends going to be an extremely extremely exciting one to say the least but before we get started if you're new to the channel welcome here and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because in this channel we will always be the first ones to bring you the latest drone news and also we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, I will truly appreciate you hitting that subscribe button so that you can help us get to that 5,000 subscriber goal, which we're very, very close from. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into today's video, which is going to be an extremely, extremely exciting one. Okay, well, my friends, today the news just broke out just a few hours ago my friend these these news are just fresh out of the open my friend oh, my friend so an fcc filing was just found so let me put you a little bit into context whenever an fcc filing is found that means that this product is official and that it's going to be coming out in a very short period of time and we saw this back with the dj fpb drone and we're going to be putting and we're gonna be saying a little bit about that in just a second, okay? So, remember a few months ago where we said that the possibilities of a DJI Mavic Air 3 or of a DJI Mavic Air 2 Pro happening this year were quite likely, okay? Remember when we said that if you're an OG subscriber, you know what I'm talking about. Well, we said that around six, seven months ago and well, my friends, it looks like we were right. We were getting a third generation Mavic Air drone, my friends, and I couldn't be more excited, okay? So today in the morning, thanks to the guys over at Drone DJ, an FCC filing was found, my friends, okay? So this has now been made public, and without any much further ado, I'm going to go ahead and share with you the FCC filing for the third generation Mavic Air drone from DJI right here on screen. There we have it, okay? So it says the following DJI Air 2S okay so I know I know a lot of you are going to be a little confused isn't this going to be I, I'm aren't I'm talking about the DJI Mavic Air 3 well this was supposed to be the DJI Mavic Air 3 but it looks like DJI didn't decide to go for the 3 yet it looks like they decided to go for the Air 2S so it's something like and let's say a Mavic Air 2 Pro to put it that way so this is pretty interesting because it looks like it will the third generation because this will be the third generation Mavic Air the first one was launched in 2018 this one in 2020 and it looks like the third generation of the Mavic Air 3 will be launched this year okay so it looks like the name will not be Mavic Air 3 okay I would just want to let you know that guys it's going to be DJI Air 2 S. And this is very interesting because it looks like DJI has decided to remove the Mavic name from it, okay? Because if we take a look at it, my friends, this little FCC label, which we, which I just shared with you guys, is on the battery compartment, okay? And this is going to be going right here, okay? So that goes right there. And on this label, it says DJI Mavic Air 2. And it looks like DJI, once again, decided to simplify their names. And this is something that they have been doing since the Mavic Mini, okay? They moved from the Mavic Mini just to the Mini 2. We also saw that with the Ronins, okay? With those gimbals, they decided to do the same thing. They just went with DJI RS2, okay? So, and it looks like the same thing is going to be happening again with Mavic Air 2, which in my opinion, if you ask, if you ask me, I honestly don't like it. I prefer that it says Mavic, but that's the way DJ is doing it and they're doing it for a reason, but that's the way they do it. So the new DJ drone will be called DJ Air 2S, okay? Now we still don't know what the S will stand for. We don't know, but this will definitely be a new generation 
of the Mavic Air 2. Okay, so definitely do expect to see something improved. Now, something that I want to point out is the battery size. On, on the FCC label that I just shared with you guys, it says that it's going to have a 3,000 500 milliampere battery okay which is the exact same size and also the exact same voltage 11.55 voltage okay which is what we find on the Mavic Air 2 so it looks like that the battery size will not change whatsoever it looks like DJI is happy with the with the flight time that they're getting with this drone okay which it currently has a flight time of 34 minutes in paper do you actually get that in my opinion in my experience I have never gotten above 30 minutes so in a bad day in a windy day I get around 17 minutes okay and in a good day with no wind flying nice and slow I get around 22 to 23 so definitely not 34 so I'm a little disappointed on that so it looks like the chassis of the drone or at least the battery compartment will not change so battery size will stay the same that's something that we know for a fact and I think that's something important to know and I just want you to let you guys know that. So definitely do expect a flight time between 34. Maybe DJI can tweak some things in the software with the, with the battery management performance and maybe they can get it up to 35 or even 36 minutes just with battery management, okay? And some new probably ESCs, okay? So probably do not expect to see a huge increase in flight time, okay? Do expect something conservative around 34 to 36 max, okay? And that's based upon the fact that the battery is a 3500 milliampere battery, which is the same size as the original Mavic Air 2 battery, okay? Well, what else do we have, my friends? Well, we, as of right now, we still don't have any more info, but we did get a tweet this morning from Osita LB, okay, which said the following. And there we have it. So it says, what will happen if Mavic Air 2 has an IMX 686 sensor? Just a wild guess, okay? Now, what Osita LB is talking about, it's a bigger sensor what, than what we find on the Mavic Air 2. So right here we find a half inch sensor and it's a Sony IMX586 sensor, okay? And this is a half inch sensor capable of shooting up to 48 megapixel pictures, okay? Which is phenomenal. I mean, the quality that you get from this drone is really great. Now, it looks like with the new DJI Mavic Air 2 S, we will not be seeing a huge redesign, okay? So it looks like that will not be the case. And that's based upon the fact that the battery is not going to be changed whatsoever. Now, what could we expect to see? I'm pretty confident we will be seeing something similar to what happened with the DJI Mavic Mini and the DJI Mini 2, where the only thing that changed practically was the transmission system and the camera, okay? So, the sensor that Osiris is talking about is a Sony IMX686 sensor, okay? And that is capable of shooting up to 64 megapixel pictures, okay? Which is phenomenal. That's even higher resolution than what we find on the Mavic Air 2, okay? And it is a little bit larger with that, and it has a size of 1 over 1.7 inch sensor, okay? So definitely it's going to be an improved camera, okay? And also it's going to be much better, it's going to have much better performance in low lighting scenarios, okay? So it looks like definitely do expect to see not a big change in design, okay? And when could we expect to see this drone, okay? Now, whenever an FCC filing is filed, okay, the product tends to come out, and this is based on previous DJI product pattern launches, okay? So when the FPV drone FCC filings were filed, they were filed around the December time frame, and the drone was launched in March, okay? So that's around a two month mark period, okay? Now we're currently in March, and taking into consideration that the Mavic Air 2 was launched at the end of April of last year, okay? So definitely the Mavic Air 2 S is right around the corner because the FCC filing has been filed and that means that the launch of the product is imminent and extremely close. How close? I will say definitely do not expect it this month, but definitely I think that the possibilities of it happening on April are extremely high and that's also based upon 
the fact that the DJI Mavic Air 2 was also launched in April so it will make sense for DJI to launch it next April so I mean my friends this is extremely extremely exciting this is something that I couldn't be more happier about because I'm brand new Mavic Air 2 is going to be coming on the market okay now this all the info that we have at the moment now stay tuned for the next video because we're going to be talking about the transmission system that the Mavic Air 2s will have okay and also some official pictures that might have just been leaked and we're gonna be sharing with you and in fact it was a video so stay tuned because in this channel we're going to be bringing you that info in the next video so stay tuned subscribe so you don't miss out on that content which is going to go live extremely soon so my friend that's all i have for all of you today thanks for watching and see you tomorrow with a brand new video drone emotion signing out yeah.